What's cracker lacking guys, I'm a Duck Quack here and welcome back to another video on the channel. So this is going to be a very short series where we just look at the upcoming league SBCs in a little bit more detail and we work out the exact cost of what we're going to be able to buy these teams for at the moment in the current market. We weigh up whether or not it's worth buying them now and if it's going to get cheaper in the future etc etc. Anyway, so to start with we're going to use the Bundesliga SBC. And we're going to look at the first five teams in this episode. So as you can see first, we've got Augsburg. Now, this team is predominantly made up of gold players. So as you can see, we've got mainly a gold defence, gold goalkeeper, striker and two cams. Now, the reason I've used this formation is because they don't have a right midfielder on the squad. So we've picked up a left midfielder just in case they require some kind of weird formation that they have done before. And this way we're covered because we can have the one player out of position. We've also got an extra striker just in case there's a two striker formation and an extra centre back just in case they do three at the back. So we've covered absolutely every possibility with this selection. Now the expensive players here was the left back. The left back costs an absolute fortune, uh, about 1400 coins. Now when I've done this, I've picked them up for the cheapest on the market by it now, unless it was quite a bit and then I've bid on them. So most of the silvers I have bid on. This team in total came to a cost of 8,600 coins. As you can see, the gold players are all for a roundabout discard. The silver midfielders are about 800, 700. The first owner cards I've included in the price as well, just to give you guys an idea of how much it would cost if you were buying them. But the whole of this, as I said, came to 8,600, and that's got a team that will cover every single angle. Right guys, so the second team we looked at were Berlin, and again this was such a simple team to do. So the whole team was basically gold. The left mid though for them was about 2,000 coins, so I just decided to opt for the cheaper option, the bronze one, which was still 400 coins at the cheapest. But that's going to save us about 1,600 coins, and I'm almost positive we'll get away with one bronze in the squad. Now again, we've covered almost every possibility. So we've got two strikers, we've got four midfielders, just in case it's a midfielder heavy, We've got a left mid and a right mid, so that covers any kind of wingers. We've got full backs, we've got three centre backs and the goalkeeper. Now this entire team again, and remember I'm not buying them on bid, so you can do this for cheaper, but this cost us about 7,850 coins for every player. And again, the first owner ones we're including in the price, so I'm judging them based on their current market value. But it's under 8,000 for yet another team. And that would be two teams down in the Bundesliga SBC for barely any coins at all. If you don't want to complete these, obviously, then it's a great investment. As you remember with the Higuain one or the Suarez one, the prices of these players initially doubled, tripled, quadrupled upon release. So even if it's just an investment you're using this for, then there's coins to be made. Okay, so on to the third team. And again, it's just so easy. They're all gold players again. Now you can see at the top there, I have got a silver player. I initially bought a silver striker thinking that that's all I could do because the other gold was so expensive. Then I realised there was a centre forward who we could pick up for discard value, so I picked him up as well. Again, we've covered the midfield with an extra two players to cover positions, an extra centre back in case they use three at the back, full backs and wingers. Now this entire team cost us about 8,900 coins. We didn't need the silver striker, so it would come down to just under 8,000 coins for the whole team. Now, as I say in every single team so far, you can do this for cheaper if you're bidding. I just don't have the time, sadly, at the moment. And you could easily knock off a 1,000, maybe even 2,000 coins if you're very patient, just from bidding on these cards alone. Okay, guys, so we're on to the fourth team now, and this is where things get a little bit different. So, as you can see, there's not a lot of gold players in this team. It's predominantly silver players, and hence it's going to cost us a little bit more to complete this. So, as you can see, firstly, on the substitutes bench, we only have one centre-back to cover the free centre-back formation and one midfielder. Now, the reason for that is they're just quite expensive at the moment, so I'm going to keep my eye on them. And when I can pick up another centre mid, CDM, cam, whatever it is for cheap, I am going to do so. So if we have a look at the players here, the goalkeepers were fairly expensive. This was the second highest rated silver one. And the top one was selling for about 1,500, 2,000 coins. The centre backs were fairly cheap as well. Uh, the right back, now he was really expensive. So I just opted to use a bronze player here. Again, we'll get away with one bronze player, no problem in these teams. 
The other thing that I found was that the midfielders were, well, apart from the super expensive ones, they were fairly priced, but it's the strikers that are going to cost you a fortune here. So as you saw there, I think I spent 1400 and 1800 on my two strikers. I wasn't overly patient. I could have waited a little bit. But because there's only silver strikers and there's a chance they use a two striker formation, these players could hold a lot of value, especially with the lack of midfielders as well that could be converted into strikers. This team came in at roughly 10,800 coins. And again, it's not the cheapest possible option. You guys can do it cheaper, but still 10,800 for one of the potentially more expensive silver teams isn't bad at all. Okay, so on to the fifth team and the last one in the first part of this series. As you can see, it's basically a full gold team. So we've got a bronze centre mid here, and it's only because he was a first owner from our club. Again, we'll probably get away with having one of those. We've got no other midfielders on the bench, but that's because we're using a narrow formation. Again, Frankfurt don't have any kind of right midfielder. So we have got a left midfielder here just in case they do the weird formation, a backup striker and a backup centre back. Now, like I said before, this team wasn't overly expensive. We spent about 8,000 coins picking up every single player here, including the cost of what the first owner cards would be. The only slightly expensive player was, I think, the silver striker, the second one we picked up. No, we got him for a bargain as well. Yeah, there was no huge cost with this team. It was such a simple one to do overall. So that gives us the first five teams complete. And I think there's about, how many teams are in Bundesliga? Let's just have a quick check. I think there's probably about 18 teams in the Bundesliga, which means that we're about a quarter of the way through. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18, yeah, exactly 18. So we're a little over a quarter of the way through, and we've spent 44,150 coins. So if this averages out to be about 45,000 coins, over a set of four videos, it'll cost us about 180,000 coins to complete the whole squad builder challenge. Now that would give us not only the Lewandowski card, but a bunch of packs that we're gonna more than likely be able to, the contents are usually worth somewhere between 100 up to about 150,000 coins. So we're almost gonna be getting the Lewandowski card for free if we decide to complete this, or we're gonna be able to sell off all the investments we made and at least double our coins. The good thing about this is these players aren't going to clog up your transfer list. So if they are an investment, they can just sit in your club. They're not going to take up valuable space. They're not overly expensive. And if you're just picking up the vital players, so the last team, for example, had so many silvers, certain areas of the pitch were a lot rarer than others. There's a lot of investments you guys can make around them. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get these videos out as quick as I can. It does take me a while just to prepare for this, especially in between work and everything. So I apologize that I can't do the whole 20 teams in one episode. But if you did enjoy this video and you do want me to finish off the league, if you can let me know by leaving a like and subscribing if you're new, that would be absolutely incredible. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.